Do you want to save time while building Webflow projects? So in this video, I'm going to share with you four tools and resources that you can use to speed up your Webflow development. So let's go. Hi guys, my name is Kyle. I'm the Chief No-Code Officer here at We Are No-Code. And in this channel, we talk all about the no-code space. So if you're just getting started or if you're into the no-code space, don't forget to like this video and also subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, all the links will be available down below. So if you want to check any of the tools and resources that I'm talking about in this video, just go here down below in the video description section and check all the links available for you. All right, let's talk about all the Webflow resources that I prepared for you today. The first resource I want to share with you is a design system for Webflow. It's called System Flow and it's really nice, has amazing design and you can use this design system to build multiple types of projects using Webflow. And the cool thing about it is that you don't have to build everything from scratch. You just clone the template with all the sections, all the design, everything is ready for you. And then you select the components, you select the blocks, the sections and build beautiful landing pages, beautiful websites using this design system. And also, if you are a designer, you can even use the Figma files that they provide that match exactly with the Webflow components. So you can design inside Figma and once your design is ready, you can translate that design into Webflow using pre-made components. It's really nice, guys. This design system library is very well organized. They have 620 classes in style, 440 components and sections, more than 4,500 icons and 10 live components. So basically, you have a lot of options available for you to build websites, to build cool projects using Webflow. And like I mentioned, you don't have to build everything from scratch. So you select existing blocks of components components that they made available in this design system and then you build on top of that. And if you want to change the font faces, the colors, everything, you can and it will all be reflected in all the components because all the components are synchronized by this library. So you have full flexibility to customize the components, to customize the look and feel and make it looks like it was built for your specific brand or for your client's brand. So you have full flexibility to change the typography, the spacing sizes, the colors. So everything you need, you're covered here and they have an amazing documentation that can guide you throughout the process of changing the components, selecting sections and doing everything you need to do. So take a look at their website to check more information about it. This is not a free resource, by the way, it's a premium resource, but it's worth the money because it's really an amazing design system for you to speed up your development process inside Webflow. So take a look at System Flow. The next resource I want to share with you is the Webflow Clonable Library. And this resource is inside the Webflow official website. Some of you might already know about this, but if you don't know, watch this because it's really nice that you know about this resource. Basically, the Webflow team created this section under their website to showcase what people are doing inside Webflow. So this is good for two reasons. The first one is that you can see what other people are creating with Webflow this way you can get inspired you can also see what is possible with Webflow if you're just getting started and if you don't fully understand what Webflow can do that could be a very good resource for you to understand a little bit more about Webflow and see what is changing what people are creating using Webflow so you can open your mind around no code. But then if you are already into the no code space using Webflow and you want to build projects using Webflow, this library has tons of clonable files. What does that mean? It means that all the resources you are seeing right now, they are available for you to copy and clone in your own Webflow dashboard. This means you can copy these components for free and then you can use them in your next project. That can save you a lot of time and a lot of people on the Webflow community, they build that for other users to use for free because they want to help other people build using Webflow. So instead of building everything from scratch, you can search for 
clonable files here and find specific parts of a website or even full templates and pre-made websites ready for you to just copy and paste and then you can change anything that you need and this way you can build Webflow projects much faster and much easier as well. So inside this clonable library you can find a lot of useful components like sliders, even some animations, full templates. There are so many things there that I encourage you to, even if you know it, go there and, and search for components and navigate to the existing components because I'm sure you can not only use it to build faster and maybe build things that you don't know how to build from scratch, but also you can learn how other people are building inside Webflow by uh, cloning the component and taking a look at the structure and how it was built. So it's a very powerful and useful resource for you to have while building projects using Webflow. Are you enjoying the content so far? I hope so. Do you wanna take your first step into the no-code space? We prepared a free course just for you to get started. In this free course, you can learn how to launch your startup business idea without being a technical person, without writing a single line of code by using no-code tools. It's free to enroll and the link is available for you to click in the video description section down below. So go there, click on the link and register for free today. The next resource is called Showcased. And this is a website that someone built to help you find clonable components. Remember the other websites that I talked about? So this website is free to use and the person here, the builder of this website is collecting and curating the best clonable resources out there for you to find. And so in this website, you can search for specific clonable projects. You can filter specific types of components. And also you can see free Webflow templates and clonables that were selected by hand by this person that created this website. So you can come to this website and find multiple clonable components that you can copy and paste inside your Webflow project and this will save you a lot of time and you can build amazing projects using the clonable resources available in this website as well. And also if you created any clonable file and you want to contribute to the community, you can also submit a project here to be featured on this website as well. So. Give it a try, go to showcase.webflow.io. Another resource is this website called Flowponent. And in this website, they have a library of a lot of components. And also they have a sidebar with a lot of categories that you can click to filter specific types of components you need in your next project. So let's say you are searching for call to actions then you click to call to actions and then you see a gallery full of CTA component that you can click and copy to your clipboard. And then you go to your Webflow project and paste this component inside Webflow. So by using this website, you can find a lot of pre-made components that you can use. Some have some design, some doesn't have much design. They look more like a wireframe. Another example, if you're searching for contact forms, for example, you can come to the contact section, you can click, then you'll find a lot of pre-made components as well. You can also create your own account and create your own library and add your component to your library as well. So it's really nice and it can save you a lot of time. So Flowponent, another resource for you to build faster using Webflow. Thanks so much for watching the video so far. I hope you liked all the resources that I shared with you in this video. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up on the video and also subscribe to the channel. Share this video with a friend that will like to know about all these amazing resources and I see you on the next videos. Let's no code!